Hi, I'm Jacob, and I'm here today to tell you all about my award-winning thermoelectric battery invention. The aim of my project was to generate electricity using heat as an alternative form to regular power, and to show the efficiency of this battery by charging a mobile phone. Before building my battery, I came up with various different designs, each of which had many different problems that needed to be fixed before I could move on. Once I was finally happy with my design, it was time to start construction. All up, it took about eight months to complete the final construction of my battery, and there was plenty of trial and error along the way. For instance, actually finding a way to generate enough voltage to charge a phone was a very problem in itself. Online, I was able to discover the volt booster that you can see in my construction that allowed for the voltage to be stepped up to a point where I could then use it. Now let me show you how it works. My thermoelectric battery is able to generate electricity because of these two Peltier devices that you can see squashed between the heat sink and the aluminium plates. The Peltier works when there's a difference in temperature on both of their sides. On one side, it needs to be hot. The heat is applied down here with the candles. On the other side, it needs to be cold. And the lack of heat is applied by the heat sink up here coupled with water poured into the fins of the heatsink. The silicon just allows for the water to stay in there and not spill out. This difference in temperature on the two sides of the Peltiers allows for electricity to be generated. The electricity runs through the wires and into the volt booster. The job of the volt booster is to step up the voltage to the point where we can then use it to power basic light circuits and charge basic mobile phones. This type of energy creation serves as an alternative form of energy, much like solar power, because it enables you to create your own form of electricity when in situations where you wouldn't normally have it. For instance, if you were stuck in a remote place without any access to electricity and you needed that extra 5-10% to on your mobile phone to make an emergency phone call, the thermoelectric battery would come in handy. Using a multimeter device, I was able to test my battery to see just how much electricity was created and how much charge this would give to various phones. I found I was able to charge some phones a lot quicker than I was able to charge others. There was certainly a lot of hard work and effort that went into the creation and designing of my thermoelectric battery, but in the end I was very proud of my invention. And I was even more excited when I took out the top prize in the iDesign competition.